your girl Anisha here and I'm coming to you with another video. So today's look was inspired by SZA. I watched the All the Stars video for the Black Panther movie with Kendrick Lamar and I was totally in love with the whole video and I can't wait to see the movie. So this look is by her. I'm so excited to see this movie. I've been waiting on it since literally last year when I heard the movie was coming out and I can't wait till it comes out because I'm so excited. That's why I recreated this look. This is sort of the makeup look she had in the video. Uh, I tried to recreate it. Let me know how you feel about it. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and continue watching. Okay, so just to start off telling you guys, I did take some um, screenshots of the music video of SZA uh, with her makeup done, just so I can get an accurate recreation. So the first thing I'm gonna start off by doing is priming my face with this Dr. Brand Luminizer Primer. I got this in my BoxyCharm, I don't know when, but yeah, it's a really good primer. Okay, so primer's done. I am gonna start on my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows today, I'm gonna be using the IT Eyebrow Pencil. I got this in a BoxyCharm also, really good. I'm gonna go on with the color Toffee by LA Girl Pro Concealer. So, and I'm gonna start highlighting my brow bones. That's all I need. Not that much, so. And you know what? I do wanna spice things up just a little bit. I'm gonna add Fawn. This was the first concealer I ever got from anywhere, actually. This is my beginning concealer. And I realized it was too light. And I was literally wearing this when I first started doing makeup. like. And I realized, oh no, honey, oh no. I need a darker shade. So going in with my concealer. And with the color Just Toffee, it's a little bit darker shade than what I mixed with Fawn, I'm gonna highlight the top of my eyebrows. So, yeah. I need definition. So what we're gonna move on to is I'm gonna be setting my lids. Set, 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 set. Now I really want my uh, eyeshadow to pop, so I'm gonna go in with the color Fine with concealer and I'm gonna put it all on my lid. With a little bit of this RCMA No Color Setting Powder. This was really cheap actually, and this is bomb. Like, everybody in YouTube, I feel like I'm the only one that hasn't done, done a review on this, so. Just pour a little on. You don't need a lot, so. I'm just setting my eyelids. I'm gonna start with my transition color for my eyelids. I'm going to this brown color by this Morphe palette. I don't know what this is called. If I find it, just, I'll let you know. I always start off with a little bit and then blend it out really nice and then go back in with more. Okay, 
transition color is down. I don't know if I mentioned this. For this look, I'm not gonna be doing the exact same look as SZA in the video. I'm kind of gonna be doing like a darkish purplish shade. Uh, I thought purple was a really royal color, so I wanted to do that with this look. So, what palette not to use? Uh, but the 35B palette by Morphe. With this blending brush, I'm gonna go into this kind of pinkish purplish shade right here. I feel like I say that in every video, but this pink purple shade right here. And I'm gonna go on with a little bit and start blending it in, keeping it lower than my transition color. This is a kind of more pointed blending brush. I'm going to go into this light purple shade right here. Well, not light, this purple shade right here. It's like between these two, so yeah. Kind of working that into my crease. Okay, so I put that shade down right there. I'm gonna go in with the darker purple shade and I'm gonna put that sharper into, my, maybe I shouldn't use this brush. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this Morphe pencil brush because this is a little more pointed. Uh, again, that dark purple shade right here. Dip into it a little bit. With an even smaller pencil brush, we're going to dip into this dark blue shade. It's not purple, but it'll blend to look like purple, so I don't know. So dark blue shade right here, tapping in there a little bit. I'm done with the 35B. I'm gonna move on to my lid, cause no, I didn't do the lid yet, so I still have something to do. So I forgot where I got this from, and ooh, I'm just gonna show it because I'm not about to butcher this name on camera. So yeah, it's that. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag one time, so if you know what it is, feel free to put it in the comments. I'm gonna take this flat brush. It's not a flat brush, I forgot the name of it. But yeah, I'm gonna take that. And it's so pretty. It's like, okay, okay, it looks brown in the can, but as soon as you swatch it, it's like this purple metallic shade. And it's so pretty, because I wasn't about to mess with it when Ipsy first sent it, but. You guys see that? It's like a purple metallic shade, and it's so pretty. You can really use any metallic purplish shade. I'm gonna spray this with some setting spray. I'm gonna grab my Solar Flare palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna dip into the shade Anti-Gravity right here. I'm gonna go into the color Spectrum right there, Spectrum, in the BH Cosmetics palette and just gonna tap lightly into it and put it on the center. I'm gonna grab my white liner by NYX and I'm gonna do a very big 
lying. No, a line. I'm gonna do a very big wing. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, so I finished the white liner. I know it's looking kind of crazy right now, but I am going to go in with the black liner on top of that. I'm liking the way this is looking so far. I don't want to clean it up. That's what lashes are for. I don't feel like fixing it, so we'll just throw on some big lashes. So basically what we're going to be throwing on is this Ardell Ardell Professionals Fox Mink Lashes. Okay, that's how they look. They're kind of like wispy. I'm gonna apply these off camera um, just to save some time. I don't want this video being too long. Okay, so I apply my lashes. I'm liking the way it looks so far. And basically, I'm gonna move on to my face makeup. I'm gonna pour a little bit of foundation on my hand. Oop, that's a little too much. I'm gonna spray my stippling brush with a little bit of setting powder, and I'm gonna blend. is the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the color Mahogany and I'm just gonna lightly put that under my cheekbones. is done so what to do next I'm going to move on to blush right now and with my crown hello are you serious okay so let's move on to blush right now so I'm gonna be using the real her blush kit we've got this in our boxy charm uh, I think last month or two months ago uh, I think it was last month I think it was last month um no la the, the month before that month I'm gonna take the middle shade let me move on to highlighter I promise we're almost getting there I promise so this is Pure's bronze and bright and I use it as a highlighter. Let's just say that. I use it as a highlighter. I'm gonna go for the gold shade.
Okay, so I just finished my face and now I'm on to the fun part. And now I'm gonna move on to the details of her makeup. So I don't really have any small tools that can make perfect round dots like her makeup shows, but I do have this broken mechanical pencil. I broke it on purpose to do this look. So I'm gonna use the part where the pencil went and I'm gonna use this as well and I'm just gonna wing it. Hopefully it turns out like hers. I'm looking at her picture right now and it kind of looks like, yeah, okay. So she has four lines starting from the bottom of her eyebrows going up. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and yeah, no, I just messed it up. It's kind of crooked now. Okay, and what I'm doing right here, I'm just taking like the front part. It wasn't lead in it. I promise it wasn't. I took the lead out, but I'm just taking that and I'm kind of rubbing it against it. And I'm gonna do the last dot going up. How's that turning out? So now she has three dots going around each side. Oop, messed that one up a little bit. This is the hard part. I take it back. This is the hard part. Okay, so it's turning out so it's turning out good so far, so let me just keep going. gonna move on to the smaller dot she has above her eyebrows um I don't know how small I'm gonna make those like that's gonna be hard because I don't want it to be too big I have another mechanical pencil I want to see how big the dots turn out because if I use like this right here this might be too big for the eyebrows the eyebrows and hers look a little small so I put a dot right here using this I'm not sure if that's too big or not um it might be fine, but let me see how the tip of the mechanical pencil does. So the tip of the mechanical pencil seems way better for the size, so I'm going to use that. So she has three dots going up to the arch of her eyebrow, so oh my gosh, I do not have steady hands. Already did it. It's up to. That it that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. How's that look so far? Uh it's no fixing that this turning out pretty similar looking at hers and then looking at mine and she also does have three dots under her eyebrow too so let me do that but they're a little closer together okay so taking that don't judge me for using a mechanical pencil but it's no lead in it promise That was really hard. Okay. She has dots underneath her eyes. They're right above her nose. So about right here is where I'm gonna put the dots. Taking this again, rolling it around. So she has one more dot should I leave it like this? Oh no, okay, I gotta be exact, I gotta be exact. But she has a one more dot right here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna go back to that little, it's not a straw, it's just I've been using it just to make the dots. So she kinda has it as like a beauty mark. I'm loving the way this is turning out so far. 
let me know how you guys feel about it so far and I'm gonna move on to my lips I am gonna be using like a semi pink nude just to go in my eyes so yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm gonna be lining my lips with this burgundy color Okay, so last step, I'm gonna set all of this in place with my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I got this in a boxy charm. Okay, it's been an ipsy boxy charm, ipsy boxy charm. It's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed doing this look for you guys today. And hopefully you subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment on anything you thought. Are you excited to see the movie Black Panther? Uh, will you be taking your children? Just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching.